Well, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney located in Ithaca, New York, and I've taken care of a lot of service people. And uh, I've, some of them have gone to college and then are in the ROTC program and then are going to be heading out towards military training. One of the things about the military or the government is they want you to leave the civilian part and go back to the military part unencumbered. What that means is we can't have a court place conditions upon you. We can't say the court has to say, well, if you mess up within the next six months or one year, we call that a conditional discharge. We're going to bring you back to court and we're going to reopen your case and you can, you can face all kinds of potential sentencing things, probation, jail, or anything else. So when it comes to somebody that's in the service, whether they're currently actively in service or they're just going into the service, we can't have them leaving the civilian sector going into the military sector with any conditions placed upon them. And that's not just conditions in terms of a conditional discharge. That can't be one of the sentencing options. Neither can an ACD, an adjournment in contemplation of dismissal, because that's another type of thing where we're going to say we're going to place this case aside, but it's still hanging over your head. Because if you mess up in the next six months or a year, we can reopen and reaffirm all the charges. So that's one of the big considerations when we're dealing with any person that's either in the military or going into the military, we need to think about we can't resolve their case with anything hanging over their head. If you have questions about your DWI case or other criminal matter within the upstate region, give me a call or shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video.